Recycling is something we're all familiar with. We recycle aluminum, paper, and plastic in our everyday lives. But did you know the Department of Defense also recycles strategic materials? This not only reduces U.S. dependence on foreign sources of material, but it makes sense for the overall DOD mission to protect the security of the nation. DLA Strategic Materials a part of the Defense Logistics Agency, the nation's combat logistics support agency. We have a mission to acquire, store, and test strategic materials used in the event of a national emergency. DLA Strategic Materials Recovery and Recycling Program is a relatively new program here in the agency. It's a recent authorities granted by Congress in 2017, and what we've been doing is working with the armed services to try and identify end-of-life military assets that contain critical materials and we've been working with contractors to repurpose those and put those materials into the stockpile. End-of-life items like turbine jet engines and tank windows are known to include strategic materials. They're pulled and dismantled by military component offices and turned in to DLA distribution and then to DLA disposition services for recovery. Dismantled items are released to DLA strategic materials for recycling. These materials are shipped to a trusted contractor for demilitarization and sorting. The recycled materials are shipped to the stockpile for long-term storage. DLA teams collaborate to identify, collect, demilitarize, sort, and recover end-of-life items that contain strategic materials suitable for stockpiling. We're currently at in Tinker Air Force Base with DLA Distribution. And what we're doing here is we're sorting and scanning material for uh, strategic and critical materials. All the airframes and engines that we service here on Tinker Air Force Base, they can refurbish the parts, put it back into service. They will. If they can't, it will be turned into us as dermo, recycled, reclaimed, scrap metal. Titanium, 90%. Material comes in and we unsort the different types of alloy, and then it goes to the revert or recycle stream. We received 238,000 pounds, approximately, of engine components, and they were able to recycle 100, over 150,000 pounds. The project today was to ship from the contractor site, clean out super alloys to our facility in Hammond, Indiana for long-term storage. This is one of the special lenses that uh, came back to us. Um, this was used for the Apache Arrowhead as part of the MTADS project, and it will be reused. Germanium is very versatile. It's in tank windows, laptops, cell phones, and solar cells, and even used to help power the space station. So this is from a large window that's used to transmit infrared light through this window of germanium, and this is ready for recycling. It's a great savings because the material itself, we already own. So now we're able to take this material and recycle it, which saves the taxpayer tremendous money. By bringing these materials back into the stockpile, DLA is making them readily available to support the warfighter and other federal agencies. This is not an ordinary recycling program. The purpose is really to ensure that this material goes back into the stream for use directly into our military applications, for our OEMs, and in the case of a national emergency or time of conflict. This is a proactive approach to recover and recycle strategic materials to not only save taxpayer money, but to also reduce dependence on foreign sourced materials. One of the key uh, items about the recycling program is that it's another tool for strategic materials to reduce risk to the supply chains. We think it has great value. It's a low cost method of reducing risk and that's consistent with the Stockpiling Act. Recycling strategic materials, it makes sense. <laughs>